Sex Man here with Mike Mondo, newest signee to Ring of Honor. Mike, thank you for joining us today. Hey, it's my pleasure, man. Excellent. Now, there's a lot of buzz about ROH right now. What qualities does Ring of Honor offer that distinguishes the company from other wrestling organizations? Um, well, I think the main thing that uh, stands out as far as concerned with Ring of Honor as opposed to WWE, TNA, and other independent organizations is that Ring of Honor focuses more on the uh, athletic competition. It's more of a sport. It's a contest. There's a winner and there's a loser. You know, uh, WWE is more uh, entertainment-based, you know. Um, uh, independent shows sometimes weren't shows in which they're just random cold matches that make no entirely sense that, you know, they're just a bunch of bumble jumble. But Ring of Honor, you've got guys with all different types of styles, guys from MMA, uh, jiu-jitsu, wrestlers, you know, people from fighting backgrounds. And the creativity that you can come up with and, and just the types of art that we can create, I think, separates and makes us different than any other pr promotion in the world. And uh, quite frankly, I feel Ring of Honor is the reason why, when I look back as a kid, the reason why I wanted to be a wrestler to begin with, because it's fun and it's about wrestling and entertaining the fans. Absolutely. And you actually have some experience with WWE. Is that correct? I do have experience with WWE. Yes, I do. I was uh, signed <laughs> I was signed by them uh, at the age of 21 and um, pretty much, uh, you know, get the that was my first opportunity, pretty much in the, you know, in the, in the big leagues, pretty much. And uh, I was down in Louisville, Kentucky with Ohio Valley Wrestling, which I still live there right now. And then from there, I went up to the WWE a couple years later. And uh, I got let go in 2008, so I was under contract with the WWE for about four years. It was a great run. I wrestled with a lot of greats, guys like Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels, you know, Triple H. I mean, people that I really learned and benefited from. And uh, it was just an education in itself. And, uh, you know, I'm just very thankful for that. I'm thankful to bring that education now to hear the greatest promotion. Okay, and I'm not just saying it because I'm here. I'm saying it because every time you go out there, it's an experience. And it's just a different feel. And you just, something you can't explain. You just got to go out there and just experience it. And I'm sure the fans know what I'm talking about because they're having fun. They're cheering. They're booing. They're doing their thing. And that's what it's all about. Well, we, we definitely know exactly what you're talking about. Now, um, now you're actually one of the newest assignees of Ring of Honor, and what drew you to the company in particular? Um, well, you know, I've been working under, I worked on the Jim Cornette for a long time. We and him have a lot of history. Um, when I first moved down to Louisville, prior to when I was signed with WWE, uh, he was the matchmaker down at OVW, uh, working under WWE at the time, and, um, you know, it was one of those things where I just had a relationship with Jim, you know, and, and Jim's one of those guys I'm, I will always be very thankful and grateful for. He's one of the, you know, I can, I'm less than one hand, you know what I mean? But he's one of the main guys that I feel like he really looked out for me, you know, and really helped me out a lot. You know, he helped me get my job with WWE. He, um, when I wasn't there, he got me um, my first actual booking with Ring of Honor back in 2004 when I wrestled Seth Skyfire, mm -hmm. you know, and I, um, he came back to help out with OVW when, you know, we had our ups and downs, you know, and Jim helped build the territory back up. And uh, again, we just, you know, we just had that relationship and then, you know, he became affiliated with Ring of Honor. And I've always, I've always known Ring of Honor. And I've always been a fan of their product. Mm -hmm. I just think the, 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 just the, um, the creativity and the, 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 the uh, the uh, just the hard work that, that wrestlers put in, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's really intriguing and, and inspiring and motivating because because I like a challenge. I thought nothing more like than a challenge, you know, because I got one goal, one goal, goal only, in uh, as far as my profession goes, and I've been doing this 11 years, and that's to be the absolute damn best at what I do and be successful at it, you know. And at the end of the day, I can look in the mirror and have no excuses. So, um, you know, Jim Cornette definitely played a big part of that. Me being a fan of Ring of Honor itself being a big part of that. And then when the opportunity or the door opened itself to present an opportunity, I jumped on the bandwagon and bam, here I am, your newest member officially under contract with Ring of Honor. See, a lot of people share that sentiment with uh, Jim Cornette. A lot of people follow him and respect him greatly. Now, as a personal, as, as a final question, a personal goal for 2012, what are your personal goals for 2012? My personal goals for 2012 is to... You know, I know it sounds kind of cliche, but I'm going to say it anyway, and it's to be, you know, the ROH World Heavyweight Champion. The ROH title means something to me, you know, and I'm not taking away from any other world titles in any other company, but 
when you're the Ring of Honor World Champion, you know, I feel like that has something significant. There's something special. There's something significant about carrying that title. It's not just passed around like a lollipop. You know what I mean? Being the Ring of Honor Champion really means something. You know, it's a title that really means something. And, you know, to me, that's as real as it gets. You know, it's, it's um, all those times, the car rides, the miles on the road, wrestling in front of five people, you know, eating hot dogs, getting paid in hot dogs when the promoter screws you over, you know, for that moment. And that's my goal. My goal is to be the man because I'm not being cocky, but I'm damn well good at what I do. I learn something new every day and I will continue to keep learning. I'm a student of the game. And now that I'm in Ring of Honor, I'm gonna take every opportunity that's presented to me and I am gonna make the most of it whether I'm the first match on the card or whether I'm the last match on the card. Each and every fan that pays a ticket, whether to see me, will get their money's worth. And for those that don't pay a ticket to see me, at the end of the day, you will remember who I am and you will pay a ticket to see me. Because 2012 is my time. It's Mike Mondo time. And Ring of Honor, it's gut check time. A true student of the game, Mike Mondo, thank you so much for joining us. Hey man, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Best of luck in 2012. Always.